And our next speaker is another fabulous MP, George Galloway. Thank you, Chair, comrades and friends, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be on all of you. We gather here today this wonderful, multicolored, multicultured, multi faith crowd in the lee of a building that the early part of my political life was spent demonstrating against. The building on my right was once the embassy of institutionalized hatred, racial division. It was the embassy of apartheid South Africa. And now, the multicolored flag of a multicolored democracy, a real republic of South Africa, stands there. And so, racism, fascism, can and must be defeated. And we have made real progress as a result, in large part, of the UAF and its antecedents and all those who fought fascism in the 60s, the 70s and the 80s in Britain. Now the BNP is broken. The EDL can hardly fill a coach. The so-called Britain first, the last picture I saw, couldn't fill the memorial statue to Eros in Piccadilly Square, that well-known English personality. <laughs> the problem is not that there is mass support in Britain for fascism. The problem is that racism has entered the mainstream, the bloodstream of the mainstream and the other parties are involved in a Dutch auction to see who can be meanest to immigrants, to see who can incorporate more of the agenda of racism into mainstream British politics. And as Diane Abbott said, that virus has even reached the Labour Party. Imagine a Labour Party that is setting out deliberately to blow dog whistles that UKIP voters might respond to. My family came here as immigrants from Ireland to Scotland. I emigrated from Scotland to London and have now landed in heaven for immigrants in Bradford West. And I tell you, it's a beautiful, wonderful place to be. The United Nations designated this day in 1966. But racism and bigotry has not gone away. Still in Scotland, you will be asked what school you went to. Not so they can see how well you did, but if there's a saint in front of it, it means you're a Roman Catholic and you've less chance of getting that job. There are not many Fatimas and Ali's on the trading floor of the stock exchange or in the boardrooms of the big banks. Everybody knows that if you're black and down on the street, you're going to be treated differently, worse by the police than you will be if you look like me or most of the people on this great demonstration today. So we have much work still to do and we have to do it together. My last point is this. We stand against not just the most obvious of racism. We stand against anti-Semitism which continues to exist in this country in all kinds of quarters, some of which should know better. And we stand against the witch hunting of Muslims, which is the most virulent and the most violent of that strain of racism in Britain today. 
We support police officers protecting synagogues as they should be because all places of worship must be safe spaces for people of faith. But we also, we also demand police protection for mosques and for Muslims and we don't have it and we don't get it. So this great assembly and I congratulate the organizers has done a signal service for Britain today. It's a respect agenda as the armed bands of the football teams tell us on European Championship nights. Respect for everybody, wherever they came from, whatever color they are, however they pray, however they walk, and whatever their orientation. Respect. Thank you very much indeed.